This is the kid with the beat up Civic, right? There's not many races that run spoon exhaust in this prefecture. Look, I've heard good things about you. You grab the attention of a lot of the locals. There's a race downtown. Big money. I've sent the location to your map. Let's see what you've got. I've got a lot to get off my chest. Need for Speed Tokyo Nights, without a doubt, was a success. If you look at all of the videos everyone made on them, I reckon cumulatively, we definitely got over a million views as a community. I, if you look at my actual channel, you'll notice that Tokyo Nights was one of the most viewed videos on my channel. It actually like averaged the same amount of views like a, a normal Theo video would, as well as that, it also actually kind of was on par with all my payback content at the time. It was ridiculous. Like it, the, the, the kind of backlash and the kind of reception of around Tokyo Nights was tremendous. To me, it's clear I'm not the only one that wants Tokyo Nights. And I'm gonna get on to what Tokyo Nights means in a minute because that has been completely taken out of context. But it's clear to me, if you look at the reception from Tokyo Nights, everyone wants this game that we pitched. If you look back at the first video, I said Tokyo Nights was a community wish list. People took that so out of context. That's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about what people think it is and what it actually is and why I'm so pissed off that I don't feel like this is being taken seriously. I did say, you know, all the way last year, I wasn't gonna make another video on this and to be honest, I had no intention of making this up until I sat back and thought, like, this is a big thing. If you think about cumulative views and stuff, this probably did more than Craig It Up. There is a lot of people that want Tokyo Nights. And not only that, the amount of community engagement with the Tokyo Nights whole movement was ridiculous. Everyone from every spectrum, whether you were using Microsoft Paint, whether you were using Movie Maker, whether you were using Premiere, After Effects, whatever, everyone who had a computer or had a way or had social media, like, if you were in the Need for Speed community, Chances are you would have seen something about Tokyo Nights on your Twitter timeline or your Reddit, you know, like on the Need to Be Reddit page or whatever. This was huge. And it annoys me because so many people thought this was just a plea for Japan and it was not the case. That was one thing which really people didn't understand. Um, and I can understand in some regards because it's called Tokyo Nights. That's the first thing which grabs your attention. But this was not about the game being set in Japan. If you look back, like I said, at the first video I made, this was a community wish list. This whole Tokyo Nights was supposed to symbolize what we want as a community and finally give Go some sense of direction since that is ex literally exactly what they don't have at the moment. Ghosts have no sense of direction. Zero. Like, if you look at Payback, it's a mess. There's so many, you know, contradicting ideas, it doesn't work. It's just a mess. The whole idea of Tokyo Nights, to me at least, was to band together as a community and to show Ghost what we want. I would be inclined to say that we are the small minority with a big voice, but I don't think that's the case, purely based on the amount of views and the amount of traction which this kind of whole movement gained. Easily over a million views. Over a million, I mean, Crown's video by itself got, well, I think, I mean, is it a quarter of a million or half a million views? Then there's so many other interesting menu concepts. And like, and like I said, every single person from every single end of the community, in the racing community, got involved. It was one of those things. It doesn't matter if you are a pro graphics designer. It doesn't matter if you're just a YouTuber like me. It doesn't matter. There were so many people that were involved in making Tokyo Nights, Tokyo Nights, and I feel like a lot of it did get lost. I feel like a lot of you guys especially didn't get the credit you deserved for pushing it forward because like I said, this was such a huge thing. And, and whenever I look back at all the videos people made, you know, every single thing, when I look at the community engagement, even months after we, I didn't talk about it personally, I was still seeing people comment about Tokyo Nights or using the hashtag NFS Tokyo Nights on Twitter. And that to me is amazing. That to me is what Craig It Up was in 2014 or 2013 before we had Need for Speed 2015. That's what that was to me. And it annoys me and it frustrates me that I just don't think we're being taken seriously. I think as a community generally, if you know you were to sit down and look through the Tokyo Nights threads, we genuinely game like we blueprinted the game for Ghost. 
I've always stood by the philosophy, if you support your hardcore fans, then everyone else will follow. Um, and that can't be any more true in this case. I think the fact the DLC rollout for Payback has been so slow and so lackluster kind of backs up my point that that game is dead. Maybe things like Tokyo Nights were partially, you know, granted to that. Now, I'm not saying Tokyo Nights was the sole reason why Payback is pretty dead right now, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably a con con contributing factor. Some people will probably look at me and think I'm absurd when I'm saying that because, like I said, it's not a huge movement in the grand scheme of things, but to me and like with how this has gone, it is. My menu concept is one of my most viewed videos on the channel. It actually averaged, the the, the, well, the, the amount, total amount of views is the same as an average Theo video. That to me is mad. The fact that a menu concept, which granted I did take a very long time to make, got a, like the same amount of views as a good video for a 600K channel, that to me is ridiculous. And I just can't understand why you know, the, a lot of people aren't taking this seriously. It frustrates me and it pains me because I know that if they did this, you know, they would, they would do, they would do amazing. And the problem, if the problem is Ghost not being confident enough to do Tokyo Nights, then there's an inherent problem with the studio because they should be confident enough to be able to make a good game. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Ghost has not made one good game. Rivals was a mess, 2015, although I enjoyed it personally over Payback and whatnot, um, probably because we did wait so long and it was such a different game to Rivals. Uh, it had its problems, I'm not even gonna list bother listing them because you guys probably already know. And then Payback, well, you've already heard me moan about that in this video. Ghost hasn't made a polished game yet. And I feel like now, they should have all the expertise they need. They've got everything they need. They know everything they need to know. We've told them everything we need to tell them. At this point, in, in, in the current day, for them to make a good game, they need to like, that, that's what the whole Tokyo Nights thing was about. It was for them to finally sit down and look at this blueprint which the community, the hardcore needs to be community made, and say, you know what? They want this game, so let's go ahead and give it to them. Everything, I talked about everything from like the E3 trailer to like the modes I want to see, to the atmosphere, to the car list, to the customization. There was so many things, I mean, I personally talked about as well as you guys on top of that. I just don't get it. I needed to get that off my chest because this is one of the most like important things for my channel. And it's one of the most important things that I feel like I've done in, a, in the past few months on YouTube. Uh, and I just don't want this to get discarded as another plea for Japan when it's so much more than that. You can have a Tokyo Nights, label it LA Day, and it still be what it is. Like, it doesn't have to be in Japan. People took that so out of context. You could make the exact same game, have it set in America, and it would still be one of the best Need for Speed games ever. Everything I said in my videos personally, I know is something they can do. I made it so, you know, it's doable with, with the development time they're given. I'm not a developer, but I can assume that what I said is enough. That's how I see it. That's, 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 how, I, that's how I feel right now. I feel... I feel a bit annoyed that it hasn't been taken as seriously as it should have been. I just hope that, you know, I'm proven wrong by Ghost. And when we do come to that E3 trailer in, you know, 2019, I see a Lamborghini event store with neon lights, with the traffic lights going red, amber, green, and it blacks out. And we see something truly phenomenal because I do believe this concept has legs. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.